Yes, I did move to Spain. Do I have a plan? No. Do I know anybody? Not really, no. But I'm really excited for another adventure. I got all my stuff. It's all in one piece. And now I'm gonna go meet my family. And the way it all went down is I went on aupair.com, I found a family I liked, they liked me, and the rest was history. Okay. You girls in Madrid. Just in the room right now. Gonna take a nap, not for that long, so that I can adjust to the time change. But I'm very tired, very happy to be here. The kids are so cute. Look what they made me. Hold on. And they say Tara, like welcome Tara. A rainbow. Very cute. And then I think it says Thursday, Monday. And then this bomb unicorn. That's my favorite for sure. That's going up on the fridge. But they got me like deodorant and they got a brush for me and a hair blow dryer. And the kids came running out and like hugged me. And the father was like super helpful with my bags. And the mom is an angel and she's gorgeous. Ah, oh, that's really nice. And my desk is awesome. Room's awesome. Apartment, awesome. Tired, but excited. I'm very excited. Cool. Uh. Hey, just got ready. Took like two hours because I can't find any of my things and figuring everything out for the first time. But we're gonna go to the gym, sign up, then go to the school, sign up, then walk around hopefully and get back at a decent hour. So, feeling cute? I have to look up basics for Spanish because I know nothing. <laughs> Learning process. Got the key, AirPods, sicko mood. Sicko mode on. Awesome. What's my room? Look how cute. Another story time, I was walking in the Retira Park, my second day in Madrid, and a man comes up to me and goes, are you alone? And I was like, no! And so I grabbed these girls, the only ones that I saw at the time speaking English, and I asked them, I was like, hey, can I hang out with you? And they were like, yeah, for sure. And then we hung out the rest of the afternoon. It was great. Hey, it's currently Saturday afternoon because I slept in again because of the time change but I'm putting my like my hang dryers I'm putting my clothes on a like a clothesline I've never done that before but it's the European way so rip if it falls, it falls all the way down there. This person has it figured out. This was my new official run route through a nearby park. At first, it was proving super difficult to find a nearby gym. So this was a perfect alternative for getting exercise while at the same time getting a locals perspective of Madrid from a more residential point of view. Up until now, I was used to having school define my schedule, my free time, and who I mostly associated with. This was one of the first opportunities where I knew that every decision I made was mine. Budgeting, the family that I chose to stay with, the location, 
where and when to travel and if I wanted to dedicate myself to learning a new language. I said a big fat yes to all of these and because I knew that as much as I put in, I was going to get out. Really, what really dawned upon me was the luck that I got from being hosted by such a great family and giving me a Spanish experience so unique and real that no vacation I know could have done the same. currently setting up my Android Spanish phone because my carrier doesn't take them. I just had to put in my pin. Everything's in Spanish. Shocker. Should I set it to English? Is that cheating? English Australia, English United States. We're just gonna put the English version for now. Choose region, Spain. It's working. taken a bit but the reason I have to do this is because my carrier is not taking my sim card so I have to use a separate phone but that's very important because you need to get that locked down especially in situations where you don't know the language the realities of uh, traveling a lot. I haven't been too overwhelmed yet. I'm trying to whisper in case anyone hears me. But um, I'm getting very overwhelmed right now. Not being in a place for a routine. Just got back from San Diego. Gonna go to Madrid in about uh, two days. Getting very overwhelmed. We bounce back. But um, what's going through my head right now is just like reevaluating my life. The next couple of years are super important and I need to stay focused and optimistic and happy. But it's important to also have emotions. So sorry for whispering, but I don't want to be found in the stairwell crying. <laughs> Very grateful for these adventures. Just sometimes I literally like will put my hand on a wall like this just to make sure something is like staying the same. Like I feel grounded. It makes me feel better. So if you ever feel overwhelmed and things are changing too fast, too quickly, just put your hand on the wall and know that it's okay. Because it is.